right, guys, this is not just regular old hippie talk today when we're talking about vibes and good vibrations. And that's why I wanted to play the uh, Beach Boys Good Vibration song a second ago. There's some real science behind vibrations. We are all vibrations. It's a strange thing, and we're going to get into what that means and how it affects us and how we either put out bad or negative vibes. We touch on this a lot, but we've never really gone in depth with with it and we are some today which is fantastic and i love this quote and i read it quite often if you want to find the secrets of the universe think in terms of energy frequency and vibration because that is what the universe is made of is what we are made of and these universal energies are all around us and some people just call them universal energies and some people call it god we just really don't understand what this energy is. Nobody does. But to me, I just can't imagine that this is not some divine blueprint. It is very difficult to imagine that something came from nothing. Because nothing just is nothing. by <laughs> what created it all. And so if we go to the very smallest level of any single thing, the smallest level, it's an oscillator, it vibrates. It's in everything, it's in that dead rock. It's in concrete. If we're walking through Lowe's or a lumber yard, all the dead pipes and lumber. At the smallest level, it's moving. It's oscillating, just like our bodies. Everything, everywhere is moving. And what does that actually mean to us in our own life? If we're vibrating and we are conscious, we are alive, I'm aware. I'm aware that Steve is watching me. I'm aware that Maggie is here. I'm aware that y'all are new and y'all wanted to come. I'm aware of that through vibrations. The energy of me being able to see you and that vibration going through my eyes into the back of my brain to let me know y'all are here. It's all a vibration. Everything is a vibration. We are, we're drowning in it really. Uh, the light forms, the light is the vibration. Everything is going back and forth from the light waves, the sound waves, water waves, gravitational waves, seismic waves, all these electromagnetic fields coming up from the earth, from the sun, everything, we're just in waves, but our minds will not allow us to see it because we're in this thing that has to maneuver in the universe. We have to maneuver around. So our eyes only allow us to see what is important for us to survive, even though it's all around us. It's moving, shaking, dancing. It's super fascinating to me because when you stop to consider how vibration works, it's almost magical. It's mystical. Because every single thing that is transformed, like right now, all of y'all are listening to me. So you're listening to me because my body is forcing out this vibration. The vibration is ringing in your ears. That vibration sends more vibrations to your mind, which in turn sends vibrations into your body and your emotions create chemicals, which release more vibrations, which affect your mood, which sends it back out. It's pretty interesting stuff. If we take the example of Wi-Fi, which I like that example, everybody has their phone, all of the information going to y'all's phone. Everybody has different stuff that they look at on their phone. You have different apps you use, you have your different, everybody gets different emails from different people, text, all these things, whatever you've downloaded, well, it's right here. Like it's flowing through each and every one of us right now, we never even think about it. It's little bitty vibrations flowing through all the information that could be possibly on our phones, which is a tremendous amount, it's actually going through all of our bodies right this very second. That is amazing to think about. Like you got movies going through you right now, you know, this little, <laughs> like it's, it's in you. The information is abundant. And it's a, it's a great example because that is just one little bitty sliver of all the other universal energies that are flowing and flying all around us. And this is really fascinating to me because there's a lot of science that shows and explores how our emotions create different biochemical changes in our body that change our own frequency. 
This is great. This is, you know, we've, all of us have used the term, man, that dude has good vibes. Man, I really like seeing that, that girl, whatever. She has the best vibe. She's always sending out positive vibes. Or, man, I don't like that dude's vibe, man. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get away from that. You know, we, vibe, this vibration, it's been, a, it's been used since the time immemorial. We've all used it because it resonates. We are vibrations. The ancients had it right. In our emotional world, emotions often, you know, we consider them abstract. They're not tangible. You can't touch them. <laughs> but I don't know if that's true. Uh, but if you view them through the lens of energy and vibration, your, your emotions, you know, whenever you're happy, sad, it's like everything else in the universe, these biological uh, things, the, these chemicals inside of us, they constitute what, if you're happy, sad, depressed, angry, you know, irritated, pissed off, they all cause different vibrations in our bodies. Like that is a scientific fact. So we can change our own vibe. And it's, it's wonderful. This groundbreaking study was Dr. David Hawkins. He, was, he demonstrated that the energy field changed pretty dramatically with different emotional states. Like fear, he was able to measure it. They, he created these tools to measure the vibe your body puts out. So when you're fearful, you're angry, your frequency, your body frequency is lower, substantially lower. The, the vibrations inside of you are low. Whenever you are happy, you're joyful, you're laughing, your body's vibrations get high and healthier. That's an unbelievable thing that based on all of these scientific studies, especially this one where they uh, figured out how to actually measure these vibrations, that started creating these modalities of healing, energetic, emotional training. Um, a lot of them, how to heal your own body with your thoughts, how to catch yourself and be more self-aware so you change your vibrational nature of your body instead of just being somebody shooting off bad vibes all the time. And it ripples. You know, we emit these energies. I, I say this a lot here. If you got a bad vibe, I, you know, go over there. I can love you from afar and I hope your vibe changes and come back over. You know, that's it's kind of one of my mottos. <laughs> I, I don't want to dislike you, but I want to love you from way over there because your vibe doesn't mix with my vibe. But I can tell you that we all have experienced that and we do it all the time. We do it all the time. Like y'all are boyfriend and girlfriend. So if one of y'all are pissed off, the other one automatically knows it. And all of a sudden it changes your biological construct and you start shooting off bad vibes or vice versa. It happens in every relationship. If man, you were good friends and you came in here and were mad at me for some reason, all of a sudden my vibe's gonna change. If you came in here laughing and joking and wanted to hug me, that's a whole different vibrational set. We can see it in our own interactions. I don't think it requires a lot of science, but there's a lot of science that shows how we change our own health. And these ripple effects affect everybody all the time. And I just love it. You know, on the smallest level, we understand now that all these electromagnetic fields and these molecules can absorb the frequencies of others. So if I walk really close to Andrew, like your energy level goes into me. Like not that I just feel it, that in my mind and I have an emotional chemical reaction to it from your energy, I can actually absorb and do absorb your energy. That's why whenever you give such a really good heartfelt hug, like you know from both people, like I just love this person, that energy is being exchanged. If you're standing off, you're, you're fighting off that, you know, you're like not a hugger and you think, eh, I kind of don't like this dude, uh, good, to, good to see you. You know, one of those one-armed deals. You know, that you're, you're not allowing energies to, to flow in you properly. You're getting your vibration off sync. I think we just need to be aware of those things in a big way. And I don't know if y'all have known, I was introduced to this during uh, some of my mother's cancer treatment, uh, light therapy. So I started reading and studying about it. It's pretty damn interesting. So you're in this clinic and they have these lights set up and at these different stations. And you just 
sit in front of some light. With red light therapy, there's all these different types, all these different lights shoot off different wavelengths and they all have their own different vibrations. And then it gets in sync with your body and starts to make you healthier. And it is outrageous. I mean, who would ever thought you're gonna be sitting down watching a documentary and put your light therapy right beside you and you're just getting all the waves and vibes without even knowing it. I mean, we're getting all these lights from everywhere all around us. And they really truly affect us, it's unbelievable. Every living thing and non-living thing vibrates. All these different cells, they all start to sing this song. The higher the frequency, the lighter and healthier the person. There's a bunch of things we can do. Of course, we all know eat healthier and exercise, right? We've all been told that, but how many people really eat better and exercise? You know, it's a smaller chunk of the population. And you can see it everywhere. I mean, you can see it everywhere. I mean, but Jill takes me to the gym at least four times a week because she doesn't want to be married to a fatty, and I don't blame her. I think that's probably a good idea. I mean, because I don't want to live long. You know, I'm 53, so if I don't take care of myself really well now, well, that's going to be really bad when I'm 80, 90. I don't. I want to. I still want to jump out of a plane at 90. I do. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? There are simple acts of kindness. And whenever they were doing these studies, they discovered that when people just went a tiny bit out of their way to be nice, it elevated their energy levels. Like scientifically elevated their body's vibrations. Just little acts of kindness. That's amazing. That you can change your energy level and how wonderful or bad you are just by your thoughts and your intentions towards somebody else. So I could say, hey, I'm really glad that I'm seeing Steve and Steve really, really needs me this morning to wake him up to have coffee for whatever reason. That really makes me feel good and I know it makes him feel good and I can feel that elevation. The simple acts of kindness with everybody makes a big difference. It feels good, even if they're asses. Like, I mean, you, we've all been nice to some people and they're just an ass, right? <laughs> but it still makes you feel good. You don't have to let their vibes, you don't have to absorb them. You just don't have to. You know, there's an agreement among science, medicine, and metaphysics that certain frequencies can repel disease. Like, they know that. They're using sound therapy now and light therapy to destroy all types of disease. And whenever I was with my mother in, uh, in some of her cancer treatment, they were using all these sound devices. You couldn't hear them. You know, they're too high of a frequency. Our ears don't need to hear that because our ears are understand that it's something that high is showing us no danger. Our ears only need to hear things that can disturb our, our bodily constitution. But those sound waves and those vibrations are breaking up all sorts of disease. They'll use now those sound waves to break up kidney stones and all kinds of cancers. Just by a little magic wand that you can't even hear and it's just shooting out a little vibe. Just shooting out a vibe. It's truly amazing. The human body resonates at a frequency of 62 to 70 I think that's uh, millihertz, but I'm not sure. But when your uh, frequency drops to 58, that's when disease starts happening to the body. So when your vibrations in your body become low because you're negative, you're always talking crap, you're always being rude, you're always lowering your vibration, you are way more prone to be ill. You can see that. I know a lot of negative, negative people, and more often than not, they're like really bad ill in the mind and the body everything. It's unnecessary. We should be taking care not to just kill ourselves with the food we eat. It's super. That's like the simplest thing. We know this country is full of poison. You can go anywhere else in the world practically and the food is good. Uh, we're going to have pasta here today right after this presentation and the pasta from the United States has a exponentially larger carbs, calories, all this crap in it, even the stuff that uh, the Italians sell us. 
<laughs> it's like the strangest thing. It's like, we really want you people to die. I don't understand what's happening and why we're so aware of it. And why would we feed our kids that all the time? You see these little fat kids running around. What are you doing? Why would you poison in your, their mind and they're clogging their pineal gland for their, I mean, just why? It's not necessary. It's just not. If we don't connect to Mother Earth, this is something I was really wanting to discuss on another topic sometime, but because I mentioned it on occasion, if you look at the big ball of this beautiful planet, we spring up from it, we eat the food from it, we drink the water from it, so we're all the water, the food. Like, we came from this earth, we're going to be put back into it, whether it's in a coffin or getting cremated. That's just what's going to happen. But while we're here, we are the conscious of the planet. How can we not be? We're the eyes and ears, the emotions, the feelings of this planet, all in our individual way. We are all an individual slice of the expression of consciousness on this earth. There's really no other way to consider it because you came from the earth and this earth gave you a consciousness. That's just what it, what's happened. So shouldn't we be more conscious of connecting with what and who we are? I think so. I think we should. I think we should spend at least five, ten minutes a day doing those kind of things. Have y'all ever uh, heard of the chant, OM? OM? Well, it's fascinating. It makes your lips feel really cool, too, if you do it. But it's, uh, it's a supreme mantra of Hindus and Buddhists, and it is a universal sound. It is why these monks have done it for thousands and thousands of years, sit and meditate. Om. Oh, everybody just do it real fast. Take it. Om. <laughs> Feels kind of good on your lips, doesn't it? The, uh, it? What's fascinating is that if we can meditate and use the vibrations, and especially listening to other people in the sound bowls, we did that last weekend, and man, it was great. How about the simple thing of just laughing? Man, when you crack up, you boy, just crack up. Just start cracking up laughing. It's so contagious. It's super contagious. If you just start smiling, like, see, look, I smile, you smile. And then all of a sudden she smiles, now he's smiling. It's, it's just weird how that works. It changes your vibrational level. You know, whenever you're really sad and you start to get down, just put in something funny. Like, go to YouTube and say, something make me laugh. You know what I mean? Whatever it is. If you can't find anybody, if everybody around you is just being an ass, like, go do something to make yourself laugh. It's the simplest thing to elevate your energies. You know, like, oh, God, like, my back's been hurting me all day today. And, but every time I start laughing or smiling, I just feel a little better. Like, I just feel a little better. It's just okay. It's just okay. Yeah, there's, we're going to have some of these people come out in uh, the coming weeks after uh, probably two months. They show us, or are going to show us here, uh, the healing practices of your hands. How they use their hands to change your energetic field of your body. It's really fascinating stuff because your body is producing all of these different let's say your heart is known to have its own massive energetic field. It's different than your lungs. They all have different frequencies. They're all playing a different song. But if your song and all the instruments are out of tune, th these guys know how to do these certain sequences that make you feel better and put your body back in sync. It's really awesome. They've been doing it in primarily in Asia for thousands of years and it's been known to do crazy, wonderful miracles. Most Western doctors would think you were just batshit crazy for even mentioning it. Like, what? You're going to do what? You're going to put your hands and do, huh? Yeah. But it works. And this is what it's like. And we did some Qi Gong out here a couple of weeks ago. And that is one of the vital spirits. Like Qi refers to the energy, the spirit, the breath of life. And the gong is the mastery. So the mastery of yourself, basically. And I think these exercises are super important. They're not very difficult. It's super easy for us to get in sync with each other. 
uh, there's quite a few of us out here, if y'all uh, do yoga and you get a yoga bowl, a sound bowl, and you start to feel the energy, you start to feel your body, you feel all of a sudden more loose, you can stretch better, you can communicate better, you can hug better, you can absorb the energy better. That is just the beauty of life and we need to be doing it. So just whatever y'all take away from this today, everything vibrates. Your body vibrates based on your own emotions and your thoughts. So whenever you catch yourself being an ass, think, oh, well, I don't need to be an ass. I'm creating this vibe that whoever I'm talking to is absorbing. And I'm either making the situation better or I'm making it worse. And if I'm making it worse, it's my fault. If this situation and our conversation is not being really beneficial for who I'm around, it's more than likely my fault because I can start smiling. If Jill's real mad at me, I can smile and do my best to elevate her energy. It may not resonate with her, but that's okay. I can come back in 30 minutes. Or she can do the same, you know, whatever. Or if Ricky's being an ass. You know, sometimes Ricky's an ass. And so I, we got to smile. You know, I got to smile at Ricky and then Ricky smiles back. And then all of a sudden we hug. That happens all the time. How about Bonnie? How many times has Bonnie been an ass to Billy? You know, probably a lot, probably today. You know, we just don't know these things. So what do you, what do, you do, right? You'd catch yourself and you go, oh wait, hey, I really love the people I'm around. I, I am creating this vibe. I'm creating this energy. I am the captain of my own ship and I wanna drive me and everybody around me to a happy place and a happy beat so we can hang out and have a good tan and eat Andrew's food. That is what we like doing. And I love y'all. If this kind of stuff resonates with y'all, just come out right on Louisiana, Texas border. Come on. We're fun. We're awesome. And we love y'all. See you next time.